Hi everyone, welcome to part three of our planner page. This is the Johanna Basford Weekly Planner. It's a picture from Rooms of Wonder. We are going to come in closer and get started. So the first two videos we were just colouring. Well, the first one I explained a little bit about my colour choices, which I've been using a colour cube card. This is hookers. Mm, that's a bit dark. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to do the background of this big vase with the castle green. Yeah. Just move that. I'm going to start by doing a light layer and then I'm going to work some more on it after. Um, yes, so I spent the first video a little bit talking about the colour cube card that I picked and that sort of thing. So you can, I won't repeat myself. We're using Castle Art soft touch pencils and uh, just colouring in this fixed. Um, colour palette. Um, the reason for a palette is that I fancied having a go at a pa palette and there was so much going on here I just didn't know. I was overwhelmed like how many colours would I use? How long would it take? I wanted to speed it up a little bit because um, I've already made a video of this page from Rooms of Wonder and it was three hours long so I was thinking I need to um, do something a little bit quicker and a little bit different. So uh, this is what I came up with. So I'm hoping that you're enjoying it. Um, I mean, it isn't vastly different, but a bit different. Now I've done that base. I want to add some darker areas. I'm going to add them here along the edges. all the way up this edge and then just gently fade the colour a bit towards the middle and the same here haven't done much today to tell you about when Ooh, we did we went along the canal saw some ducklings there were four oh it was so cute um really i saw them on Sunday and I saw them yesterday and so they're um they are lovely um yeah so that was cute that was fun they were eating little midges so this is the hooker screen and what I'm going to do is pick out some of the details a bit like I did on the watch day yesterday and just colour a few bits darker so I'm just going to start at the top here and just work down the bars colouring some of the details not too hard as you can see just a little bit darker yeah they were so cute little fluffy ducklings quite young I can tell that well especially there are four uh, two but uh, that was lovely and uh, it was, yeah, it was a nice, it was really perfect weather because it was dry but chilly. So I put a jacket on, it was nice, I liked it. But it's a, I was um, answering a survey last night. Um, I'm going to do this pendant in the middle. I'm just trying to quite work out what it looks like, if that makes any sense. So I've got my emerald green. Just gonna sharpen it. And the survey was do you think the weather's too hot or too cold at the moment? Because there's been a lot of talk of it being quite a cold June, which is when I'm recording this. I'm not sure whether that is something that needs to be coloured or if it's a gap, and um, whether these are just holding this pendant in place. That's how I'm gonna colour it. Like that. And then I'm going to grab some, I'm going to do the background of the pendant in this leaf green. I'm going to colour all of it like I have been already over this plant. We'll colour that in in a minute. Um, yes, because June has been quite wet and cool, for the, but I've been loving it. It's been fabulous. It's been still been a bit too warm for me. And this is the juniper green and I'm going to do all the little leaves. 
but the survey asked people if they thought it was too hot, too cold or just about right and 4% of people asked at the time I looked said it was too hot, including me. Um, and then probably about half of people who were left said about right and half, maybe not quite half, and then some obviously said it wasn't warm enough. Now this is the cadmium where I'm going to be doing these teeth. I'm going to make it a little darker down here. Just fade it up a little bit. I'm sort of thinking this is the gum colour. We use a different colour for the teeth, which means we need to do our colouring here. False teeth. They're not really false teeth though, are they? Because false teeth aren't hinged like that. Not false teeth I've ever seen anyway. This is leaf green light. My aunt used to have um, false teeth top and bottom and they weren't joined together. used to just sort of slot over her gum somehow. She never really understood false teeth when I was little. She died when I was 11 I think so. Um, this is sap green. Um, I didn't, um, I was quite young and <laughs> naive I guess. But uh, yeah, happy memories. And uh, I'm going to do the label in this lightly and then colour over a few bits darker. Yeah, she uh, yeah, she was always kind to her nieces and nephews and to her siblings, i.e. my mum. But she brought my mum up because um, my mum's mum um, um, died in childbirth or having a a baby, the baby after my mum. So my mum always feels incredibly lucky. Castle Green Light that she um, survived and she was brought up by her sister who she really liked. So that was nice. I mean, I did, she doesn't know what her mother was like. Um, but that's, she doesn't see it. She doesn't see it as a bad thing. Some of the, obviously the older siblings, um, missed her but they you know um but uh, a lot of them were quite young now in this bottle we have a couple of stars which i'm just going to color in charcoal while i'm thinking um i'm wondering whether to do the glass in a light color like we did on the houses in a bottle i think i will so yeah, I'm going to start with this, um, whoops, with this cadmium green pale. We're just going to colour the items inside, so I'm going to do the top of the mushroom now. I'm not going to worry about not colouring over the dots, because we're going to pretend that this is a green bottle that everything is in, so they would go green. And I'm going to do the stem in this colour too. Okay. I'm going to use quite a lot of different colours I'm guessing, maybe Prussian green. I'm going to use this for the gills under here. Yeah, she always thought she had a happy upbringing. Reasonably, she didn't like school, but apart from that, she uh, liked spending time with her family. She was quite spoiled, being the youngest. This is castle green. But they didn't brush their teeth when they were young because they just couldn't afford toothbrushes. You know, very poor. Um, particularly by today's sort of standards. This is the hooker's green. I'm going to do the base bit um, in the, you know, they'd only have, I think they'd have two outfits, a Sunday church outfit and an everyday outfit. That was it. Um, I don't know how they washed their everyday outfits, but anyway, maybe they did wash on a Sunday. Um, and they'd had a few more at certain times. This is the emerald green I'm going to use for the bottle glass. I'm just going to apply it quite lightly. Um, 
No, I didn't have many toys. My mum had one doll and uh, then a cot, I think. You know, I think that's it. I think about the amount of toys I had as a child. Things have changed so much. It's going to make the edges a little bit darker. Perhaps I should have left it pale in the middle. Paler in the middle. Look at this tortoise. Oh, it's just the cutest, cutest thing ever. Right, leaf green. I'm going to do these flowers. I'm going to do the whole flower, including the centre. It's just too small. I will do the leaves in a different colour, but that centre bit is really hard to get to. So actually, I could use this juniper green to do the leaves and the centre a little bit. Now imagine um, her, she was one of twelve, trying to, and one only the father was working to start with. Imagine trying to keep twelve children, cadmium green. I mean, they all, of course, they had hand-me-down things. Clothes were so much better made then that you could hand it down for so many generations and across cousins and brothers and sisters and, you know, friends, neighbours, all that sort of thing. You can't do that anymore, you know. I tend to wear my clothes right out, you know. I don't tend to have them to hand it to anyone else. This is a leaf green light. I'm going to use it for um, tortoise's body. Um, yeah, so they, they used to have three meals a day, lots of stodgy carbohydrates <laughs> to keep them full, and um, so they didn't go hungry. But uh, yeah, when it came to other stuff, they didn't have a lot of sap green. But I don't know whether people did in those days so much you know I mean no one had t the TV didn't exist I think actually they did but they didn't couldn't afford one a few days when it was the coronation of our late queen um, they all went to a neighbours to watch it I'm gonna put a dark layer here um, on their television so some people had it um, you know there was no computers mobile phones things like that they used, I think they used to have a use um I'm gonna put a darker layer in each of these. Just for fun. Um I think they used to read in maybe got a newspaper. But uh that was it. They'd have a radio, a wireless as they called it. You know. Didn't really buy stuff. I don't even know if they had a fridge when they were really young. No. He'd have a cold slab in the larder, and that would be that. Now, remember actually um, the larder having a cold slab in my grandfather's house. I think the cold bit was filled in because it made it too cold because they had a fridge, didn't need it. Right, we're getting towards the end now. We've got our butterfly, castle green light. I'm going to use the lighter, a lighter colour for the wings. They used to go and he would get milk daily, but it wasn't in, even in bottles, glass bottles like when I was little, and it would get delivered by the milkman daily. It was, um, they would take a jug out and collect the milk in jugs, which was amazing. And it would be at breakfast time so that you would have your milk for your breakfast, for your porridge. Or they always had porridge, couldn't afford um, other cereals. And they always had bread at the end of the day at their t for tea time so uh, they uh, and some sort of cooked dinner cadmium green pale which you would have uh, in the middle of the day which was interesting they would go home for lunch from school and have a cooked meal now our dice I am gonna try something simple with these so I'm going to colour over them really lightly with the Prussian green. Yeah, they would go home for lunch. Apparently they would have a two-hour lunch break so they could go home and have lunch. People, would, they would do that in those days. That's what everyone did. 
So I'm just colouring the dots and I'm going to sharpen that. But, uh, I think some people would have a school dinner, you know, a cooked dinner. But they weren't free like they are now for Pamela's aunts are well off. So they would have to go home and get theirs. It was interesting because um, my sister was talking about the rise of food banks and how bad it is that, you know, people can't afford to buy food, which obviously isn't good at all. Um, this is a our dinosaur. We're going to use our castle green to start with. Again, a light base. But I say, I think it doesn't necessarily mean that we're poorer than we have been. I feel that there was a community spirit which is slightly missing these days. Neighbours and friends would help each other out more so than they do now. And that might partly be part because they can't afford to, of course. But I think also um, families have moved away from each other and so they're not there to help each other, you know. It's uh, it's interesting, but I and churches would still help out with um, food and things. I think, and the food banks we have now are run by churches. I think perhaps it's just a little bit more better organised, but even so, um, it's still not a good thing. It we should be able to all have enough money to afford basic um, needs like food and heating you know so um hopefully that won't be a thing that lasts forever so i know um we have places in our town where people can go and have a meal and if they can't afford to pay they don't have to pay but other people who can afford to pay if they want, they can pay a bit extra to help cover the costs of the people that can't afford to pay. That sort of thing. That's a different type of community spirit um, where you're actually helping a stranger. And uh, I rather like that too as an idea. That people who are better off can help those that aren't so well off. And I just think we're very lucky where we're in a position that we can afford to have our children still with us. I'm going to put some darker colour here. I know there are some children that are friends with my boys who, you know, their parents threw them out when they were old enough to get a job because they just couldn't afford to keep them at home anymore. And uh, we're incredibly fortunate that we haven't had to do that because although it would make your child grow up quickly. I don't think it's a good way to be. I like them being with me. This is Hooker's Green. I remember saying at one point that I wanted them to stay with me forever. I'm not sure I want that. It's not nice for them, is it? They want to go out and be independent and do their own thing. But um, I'm happy with them here now with me. And saving up, you know, they can save up for a deposit on a house, that sort of thing. If they, it'll be easier if they're here and not paying a rent and all their bills and everything else, you know. They'd have to contribute a little bit more if they're earning. You know, if they, I tend to just buy them everything they need, treats, snacks, clothes, that sort of thing. But... That would have to change a little bit, I think. Right, I am done. Let's come out and have a look. No background on this one. Um, it is too complicated as a picture anyway, I feel, to need a background. Um, but there it is in all its green glory. Um, here is the colour cue card that was used for it. Um, so that's that. So that is a how you can use a colour cube card in a really simple way. There are lots of different ways you can use them. You could um, just pick out a few of the colours or use a more colourful one, of course. But I have got other videos using colour cube cards. If you... I might make a directory, actually. Uh, a, um, not a directory, what's the word? A, um, a, a, a group. Oh, 
oh my goodness my brain anyway uh, I might group them all together on YouTube so you can find them more easily I think I might do that I would have already done it by the time you watch this video um, it's, it's called a oh for goodness sake I can't I can't think I can't think never mind but there'll be one there anyway and um, I'll put it I'll put it in the description then you'll be able to find it so you'll be able to find all the color cube um, videos if you want to watch me use them more or follow along with them or just learn about them that sort of thing so uh, I'll do that but thank you so much for watching if you stuck with all three episodes that's very kind of you um, I hope you had a go at the page even if you did it really differently you could just pick your favorite color and four um, tones of it um you know a few lighter and darker ones and off you go and just have some fun with your favorite color you have to use green um i don't know anyone who hates green but it might be that you don't like it use purple use pink orange red um yellows even blues you know all sorts of colors even grays you could just use one black pencil a graphite all sorts so have fun with the page um thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your week and and happy coloring